how's it guys welcome back to the channel um, first of all before we start this video uh, we want to thank everyone that has subscribed to our channel we have reached our goal of hitting a thousand subscribers which we did yesterday and we are super super proud of what we have been able to accomplish in the last five months uh, posting videos on YouTube so we really really appreciate all the support that we've gotten recently and we want to show our support and thank all of y'all for everything that you've done for us so for today's video we are going to show you the trace and bait that we use to target the black tail which uh, you've seen us uh, catch in the previous video so if you haven't seen that video I will link it down in the description go and check that out before watching this so you can see what we catch and yeah that's about it so let's get into the trace Hi guys, for this trace, it's pretty simple. Uh, you'll need a bottle or pear sinker. We usually use about a two to three ounce. Uh, two way swivel. And for the hooks, we generally use two sizes. Either a size four bronze mustard hook or a size two. Depending on the size of the black tail that's around, we adjust our hook accordingly. Uh, to start off with, we'll do the hook snoot. The hook snoot, we use 35 pound maxima. Generally because we're fishing in really foul area and um, we, the fish do usually pull us into the rocks. So we need a line that's pretty strong and we'll get through the rocks. Alright guys, we'll start off with tying our hook snoot first. Uh, to tie hook snoot on, we thread the line through the eye and we wrap the tag end around the main line about 8 to 10 times. As you can see, you'll end up with your line looking like that and then you just make a loop around your finger with both lines and just go through that loop twice with the hook once and twice and pull it tight loop again that's how we tie a hook on alright guys a hook snoot, it's usually around 40 centimeters and you attach it to the end of your one end of your two-way swivel. Tag in. That's it. Now for your sinker snoot, we use much lighter line, uh, usually around 15 to 20 pound, because if your sinker does get stuck in the rock when you're on a fish, you would want it to break off. Guys, for your sinker snoot, it's usually much shorter than your hook snoot. It's usually around 10 to 15 centimeters. And we'll tie that onto the other end of the two-way swivel. Alright guys, as you can see, that's the trace. And your main line, you will attach to the end where your sinker snoot is tied onto.
Alright guys, this is our chase. Now let's go on to the bait demo. Alright guys, let's do our bait demo now. For our bait for to target the black tail, we use octopus leg which we catch freshly on our rocks over here in Toti. And this is a Natal sardine which is net in the winter months. So firstly, we clean our octopus leg, take off all the skin and we cut a piece and we shape it. And now with your octopus, you take your trucker hammer and you beat it into until it's soft and mushy. You get all the smell out of the octopus. Turn it over and do the same on the other side. So guys, you see the bait is smashed up pretty good there. Now you take your hook. And take your octopus and you thread it through one side. Pull it all the way down. Then you thread it through the other side and fold it over the hook. like that now you're going to take your latex cotton and bind it on pretty tight not too much of cotton at the end where the hook is you bind more cotton towards the top so that your bait holds on properly because when these blacktail do bite they generally swallow the entire bait and usually if your bait is not cottoned on properly they will pull the bait over the hook and they won't get hooked properly and you'll miss the fish as you can see I'm putting more cotton towards the top and what you can do tie it off And that's the first part of your bait done. Now for the second part, you're gonna to wanna to take your sardine and measure how much you're gonna use from the fillet. So I'm gonna say about there. I'm going to fillet the sardine. There's two ways you can use this fillet guys. Um, if you're fishing during the day in cleaner water, you can use, keep the skin side up and uh, for visibility and the fish can see it. Or if you're fishing like late in the afternoon or in dirty water in the nights, you can put the flesh out so that you get more smell in the water. What I'm gonna wanna do is cut the end of this off. It's neat. And you're gonna take your and you're gonna place the sardine on the back side of the hook. Fold it over and cut it up. Always making sure that your hook is nice and proud. As you can see all the oils from the sardine is going all over my hands. It's a good sign. Find more cotton towards the top, make sure the bait is secured properly on and tie it off. Alright guys, 
that's your bait. It's the bait we use and we always had success on Shark at the Blacktail. And we hope you all do too. All right, guys. That's the bait and trace that we use for targeting our blacktail that we get on our coast along the winter months. And we really hope that it does help you all a lot. And you'll do try this and tell us if you'll do have success on it. Uh, we really try to help people when they ask us about things. We saw in the last video that a lot of people did comment and ask about uh, the trace and bait that we use. So we really hope that you'll try it and let us know if you'll have any success. And if you haven't already, please sub consider subscribing. It really does help the channel. And if you'll enjoy the video, drop us a like and leave a comment down below and tell us what you want to see in future videos. Uh, but for now, that's it. See you next time.